Top of the morning, I'm Juno RJ and I know it's a sunny day for a movie review and I should be at school by now but I should have reviewed this at night so let's make it quick. Why don't you give me your love? So Alita Battle Angel is a new movie from Robert Rodriguez which is actually produced by James Cameron and this movie is based on adapted from the anime Gundam. Now this movie takes place in the 26th century as mentioned in the Fox logo where um, Alita is awakened as a cyborg by Dr. Edo played by Christopher Waltz. And however he dis she discovers that Iron City is beyond the imaginations unlike what kind of city that she lives in and however the city she wants to go to is up there but somehow there are these bounty hunters who are trying to stop Alita and now Alita seeks for justice and become the heart of the Iron City. Now first of all I got an early release for this movie meaning that this movie was released on Chinese New Year. I know this movie actually just got released on July 20th 2018 and then got pushed back for December for Christmas time which I was okay with it and then it just got pushed back for a Chinese New Year release and I was actually fine with that because I was able to watch this movie on Chinese New Year and thank god I did not see this on uh, Valentine's Day because if I do well I'm kind of sad you know like what's the what's the point of watching this on Valentine's Day however somehow this is really a Valentine's Day movie it's perfect for Valentine's Day but uh, don't buy how good this movie could be. Now what can I say about this movie? I don't know what to say about this movie. Let's start with the visual effects because we're, we're all here. We're all excited for the movie because of the visual effects. James Cameron produced this movie and how he did with the visual effects were great. He did a great job in maintaining the visual effects. I like the visual effects. I like how Alita's character uses those uh, type of um, motion capture character and how the CGI was well put into this movie. There's not a lot I can say, but the storyline is the problem with this movie. I know that when the movie's gonna be pushed back, I know that there's something wrong with this movie. And I don't know why Robert Rodriguez or James Cameron made a decision for this movie. For somehow, what I like about this movie is just the visual effects, but what I don't like is somehow the storyline and some of the characters, which I'll get to that later. However, for a two hour and two minute movie, this movie is just not everything that I was expecting. I mean, for a storyline, the um, the backstory is fast forwarded, the uh, origin is somewhat fast forwarded, and then the love relationship relationship was already made in this movie and somehow we kind of like want to get more to the action scenes and stuff but this movie wastes more time on taking place in the Iron City like Alita wandering around what's going on in the Iron City and what she was destined to do until it gets to the third act the third act just didn't seem to comfort me much. Well, I know this movie was actually released on a Tuesday, which is on a holiday, and the last time I watched a movie on a holiday and it didn't get a review was Robin Hood. Well, I guess I'm happy to say that I'm reviewing Out of the Battle Angel because of an early release. For somehow, the storyline becomes a problem to me. Yes, I did not like the storyline. It's fast forwarded and stuff. And if you think that going to this movie is a family fun time movie, it isn't. Trust me, there are lots of robot violence in this movie. There's a scene where either robotic arms are being chopped off, eyes are being pulled out, human body parts being torn into pieces. Oh, just two human being torn into two. I mean, the whole movie just tries to avoid using the S word and just keeps saying crap, like holy crap, oh crap, you're doing this crap, all for this crap. Just using the word crap. I mean, there's an F-bomb in this movie, which is why this movie is PG-13. It's like it's trying to balance between making it PG and PG-13, but due to the visual effects and due to how fascinating, it's like it's a more PG-13 version of Blade Runner, which I could accept that. However, the motorball sequence was interesting. I really did like the motorball sequence. I mean, I thought it's a great sport, you know, seeing motorball. It's like it's some kind of like a soccer ball where you play it, but you have to like, you know, play the motorcycle, like some kind of race car. So it's basically like, what's the game called? It's like Rocket League, but this time you're racing. So so that's kind of like the opposite of Rocket League and the other way around. I think the characters are more of an issue to me. There's nothing to care about the characters. What I see throughout the first, the end of the first act, I feel like, okay, something's not right with the characters. But I know some of them will have a change of heart. For example, like Hugo, this character, he's a very nice person. And then he just somewhat tries to change his heart. Forget to mention Rosa Salazar as Alita. I mean, she's great. She is well made in this movie. I really like her cap motion capture. Christopher Waltz, I think he really did a great job. He's a likable character. You, you really want him as a dad. I really love his character. My only issue is the villains. Like, some of the characters, some of the actors, including Jennifer Connelly and Marshall uh, Ali, feels wasted in this movie. Like, what happened to them? Why are, in the, why are they in this movie? And what is their purpose in this movie? The third act somewhat disappoints me. I mean, there are really many characters I could say, for example, like Ed Skirin. I cannot forget him as Ajax, but I just don't know what happened to him. Why is he here in this movie? But seeing what happened to him just really surprises me in the third act. But there are also some other characters, like these robot characters, which I don't really much want to say much about these characters. But however, they're a little bit lovable, but sometimes just not. 
However, seeing the third act just somewhat uh, disappoints me a little bit. Like, what happened to the third act? Why is the third act made like that? And seeing that the camera zooms out for the ending when the title relieves, and then they just play the credits, the song is just somewhat my favorite part of the movie. I was like, okay, I tell you If Fox were to make a sequel to this movie, just just do it. Just do it if, if it needs to have a sequel. If you want to make a series out of it, go ahead. I mean, if, I, if Fox were thinking of, hey, which terrible movie should make a sequel, I, I'd go with Predator. Because I've seen the ending of Predator, and it feels like there's more to that. But the ending to Alina Battle Angel, yes, you can make a series. This is like, you want a continuation of that. You need to. But it also depends on how well it'll be made in the box office. Overall, I have to say this, but Alina Battle Angel is a great masterpiece of a great adaptation which shattered into pieces. That's what I can say. Like I said, there are lots of robot violence. They're just robots being tearing apart. So what, that's what I can say about this movie. I mean, this movie is just... You're gonna love this movie only because of the special effects and stuff. And since I watched this in IMAX, I'd say it's an experience worth seeing in IMAX 3D. Really, I really had a fun time watching IMAX 3D. They showed me the IMAX poster and I was thankful about it. I'm gonna say that you walk into this movie, don't expect much about this movie. I mean, I, I, I couldn't say it's a mediocre movie because it feels like it's a mediocre movie it's just got a lot of visual effects but in terms of storyline it, it doesn't fit well like from the uh, atmosphere of this movie i know that something bad is gonna happen throughout the characters like why did they manage to do that but yeah that was my review on alita battle angel have you seen it what's the of movie tell me if you want to see it and I'm sorry, really, there are some two movies that I couldn't review, like, for example, Glass and The Kid Who Would Be King. The Lego Movie 2, which I'm still gonna watch it, but I'm gonna watch it in a cinema that I'd like to review that I still haven't worked on it a lot because I'm thinking how am I gonna do it until I'm assigned about a workshop about it. And not to mention, this thumbnail here, I think it works better with uh, Glass, which I've said on Twitter. But yeah, that was my review on Alita Battle Angel. Here's the outro. That is all for this video. If you do enjoy this video, give it a like. That would be very helpful. And in the description, you'll find two links so you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. I appreciate you guys for watching this. Now, see you another time. Bye-bye.